that stuff, you know. And there are places where you can't, uh, stages where you can't hide for the encore. You just can't. You have to, uh, there's one in uh, 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 Boise, Idaho, the Egyptians, a beautiful, beautiful theater. But no stage, really. You know, the, the back curtain, uh, an inch away from the back of the back curtain, is cement. From here in the wings, cement. There's, it's just it's just a hole in the wall, and, and uh, so you can't hide there. You have to walk down the stage, through the crowd. There are two aisles. It's a big room. Walk all the way up a big rake up to the lobby by the popcorn machine, and you know, the old guitar player with any sense of dignity is going to stand by the popcorn machine. So you go out on the street where people give you money because you have a guitar. And you know, Part of it, you have to walk back down to the ground. You know, like, oh, okay, where's he? They've been waiting to get this over with. And, uh, but uh, everybody's complicit in this, you know. Oh, he's left the building. Or, you know, he's hiding. So one, one year in that, and then they had a big red. There's a, traditionally the first curtain. I forget what it's called. Is a dark, deep red, and they made their back wall that curtain. And I remember working with a guy named Dave Pelletier who had studied staging at Berkeley for a couple of years. And he, would, he had this trick when I had this red flannel shirt that I'd been in a motorcycle was toppling when I wasn't hurt, but dragged through some sewage that the driver, the rider, the guy at the handlebars missed. And we slid through it and it felt, well, really, whatever that was made of. Smelled bad. I didn't wear it for very long. But I remembered that when I... At a certain point, I had to give it to him. Dave, I think what he did was he hit all of the red that he had in the gels, in the lights. And the whole curtain and me would flare. And I would, I could never got to see this, but I'd hear it happen because the crowd would, <gasps> it just completely disappear. It was really cool, but it was a one shot thing, you know. That if he did it too early in the set. <laughs> So one year, I remembered that, and I thought, I'll just hide in the curtain when I get off the stage for the encore. And it was really apparent that the crowd was just wondering what I was doing there. <laughs> what the hell am I going to play now? That's your clue to 